Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I have some news on the new San Francisco project at Disneyland Resort, specifically California Adventure, so let's get right into it. Disney Today dropped a Disney Parks blog post detailing some new concept art and some new details, no, very faint details on this new re-theme that is coming to California Adventure. This is the Pacific Wharf area. They're just re-theming it, um, adding an IP, kind of extending the San Francisco theme because the Pacific Wharf is kind of San Francisco-ish, northern NorCal, and then you have the Victorian houses over there between uh, Grizzly River Run and uh, Little Mermaid area. It's a whole kind of a Northern California type of theme. This continues the trend of putting an IP to existing non-IP areas and kind of Disneyfying California Adventure or uh, seeing California through Disney's eyes. So we have several se segments here. What you just saw there is the Golden Gate Bridge or the San Francisco Gate Bridge. And that is the main centerpiece of the land, the, the weenie, the thing that draws you to the land. That is what seems to be getting the most budget here and the most expensive thing that is under construction right now. Um, the most visible aspect under construction right now actually has its pillars or the supports ready to go and vertical construction has recently started as of this morning. So that is awesome. We'll be at Disneyland this weekend. If it's not raining too hard, I'll see if there's some construction there. There will be a Baymax meet and greet. This is currently where the former beer truck or snack area is in the back of the Pacific Warp area. They're going to take that away and they're going to kind of convert this warehouse into a Baymax meet and greet. You can see the queue and Baymax peeking out right over there. Um, so again, and fuses big hero six uh, to California measure in a way that uh, hasn't been infused before. Then they're going to add these wonderful, you know, a lights here, a port of San Francisco, right here to uh, that looks like Cocina Cucamonga, which I particularly like that place. I like their tacos over there, um, just like I like La Cocina, La Cocina at Universal Studios. But yeah, and that's and actually that could look really gorgeous at night if they um put that up in like neon lighting. That look that look pretty pretty nice in my opinion. Um, it's worth noting that. Every single dining location here will remain open during construction. So, kind of tells you how big or how extensive this re-theme is. Not too extensive where they have to gut any buildings or anything. It's kind of just, uh, I don't know. It's, um, I guess some people might say putting lipstick on a pig. But it's uh, just kind of like a overlay, I guess, is the, the word to say. You know, kind of an overlay of Pacific War Wharf to jam an IP in there, but uh, one that I think fits because it's California, right? It's San Francisco, San, uh, a take on San Francisco, an area that's already themed to San Francisco, just putting, continuing the trend of ca uh, Disneyfying California Adventure, meaning, you know, putting California Adventure through a Disney lens. Cars Land shows car culture, and yes, it's in Arizona, but shows the car culture of California through the movie Cars. You know, Pixar Pier shows the Victorian seaside you know, pier aesthetic you know, through Pixar, Disney's Pixar, of course. Um, Paradise Gardens Park does the same thing through Little Mermaid, I guess. <laughs> and uh, Grizzly River runs the last kind of, Grizzly Peaks on the last non-IP area. But, you know, Avengers Campus, I guess, shows the California's tech culture, right, through Marvel superheroes and techie things like Tony Stark. Guardians of the Galaxy, well, they each kind of, the buildings kind of plopped there. Uh, literally plopped there according to the storyline. And the Hollywood land, it's kind of IP-less. I don't know. California Mission has a kind of a jib-jab of things going on, but that's what they're trying to do. I think it works. I think this concept art looks pretty good. I like the little Chinese lanterns or the Asian-inspired lanterns. And Asia has a big culture. is a big culture, especially in Northern California, but in all of California. Asian inspired culture is huge. I mean, here in Southern California, the San Gabriel Valley from Pasad which is Pasadena and kind of eastward, massive, massive um, Chinese inspiration. It's almost like some people call it the New Chinatown, right? It's, it's a huge area, um, even more so again than downtown LA's Chinatown, that has this massive Asian inspired culture, and a lot of Asian 
people live there as well. Um, and of course, you have the famous Ch Chinatown in San Francisco and all that good stuff. So it's good to have some Asian representation in the park. Um, also, Asia is just super cool. China, Japan, they're all so cool. I mean, their architecture, they're, they really like like lighting at night. So I'm glad this area will be more lit up at night. I'm excited for the re theme. It's nice that it'll be done by summer and uh, it's already under construction right now. And it's good that none of the uh, the restaurants have to close for it. Um, it takes a area that was actually perfectly or finally finally themed, in my opinion, and it just enhances it. But what do you guys think? Do you guys do you not like this Disneyfication of California Adventure, or do you think it's just jamming IPs anywhere they can? If so, Grizzly Peak, better watch out. But um, what do you think? What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about this com uh these concept arts in the comments below and this whole concept if you like it or not if you like this video press that thumbs up subscribe for more theme park updates and have a fantastic day